Hello everyone, welcome to another uh, video on my channel. I am Marshall3498. In today's Moto Vlog topic, what I'd like to talk about is something uh, motorcycle related, and that is um, some of my experiences and tips and tricks and so on and so forth of um, um, some group riding tips. Uh, I've got Cave Troll behind me, uh, another local uh, moto blogger. You might be able to see him in my mirror, maybe not, I don't know. But um, I've done some uh, group riding uh, situation stuff just with one person like now and uh for those of you who've watched most of my content several uh, demo rods and stuff like that so although i might not be an expert i definitely um have enough info to share with you to maybe uh help somebody put, who's never done some group rides for the first time the main thing is that i've learned is uh, especially with rides like this me just another rider that uh you ride with the main thing is uh ride with somebody who um matches your riding style whether you ride kind of spirited riding or kind of more casual like i do um the last thing you want to do is is be a casual you know kind of more slower paced rider if you will and go ride with a bunch of guys who are wearing a uh, full leather and dragon knee and stuff like that um in my opinion that's that's a very bad idea and it's a really uh, good way to get yourself hurt in a hurry um, motorcycles as all of us who rides uh, and who know are very dangerous we assume that risk but um, you need to do everything in your power to protect yourself the best you can um, but yeah just like I said just just find somebody who matches your riding style you know uh, the guy behind me cave troll he I'm leading today so uh, he's just kind of following my pace and um, he's still kind of new to riding he this is his first full riding season so uh, I'm probably still not going to go what I'm capable of riding at the pace that I normally ride at just because he's still kind of new um, you know he's riding a cruiser so um, you don't expect him to be fast because that's not what they're made for and that's cool you know everybody has all their own stuff they like uh, he's a big dude at six foot seven so um, a bike like I'm riding with mid controls probably not going to be comfortable for him for very long um, so not only that it's kind of a fairly uh, heirloom to him it was passed down from his wife's father so uh, i'm sure he'd be sick as as i would if he did happen to hurt himself and lay the bike down um but the main thing is to do that you know find somebody who ratchets your riding style uh even and even if you're a spirited rider i wouldn't suggest riding with a group that's more slower paced because you're going to want to get in the front and you're going to start riding your pace and the way you ride and then you're going to make them uncomfortable because they're not used to the pace you're going at because that's just out of their skill set or it's just not what they're used to um and not only that too uh if you're riding you know with kind of the more casual rider like myself that style um make sure that person you're riding with really pays attention of what's in the road in front of them um if all you're riding in a group whether you're riding staggered or straight in line like we tend to do um, you're not going to maybe see a road uh, obstruction maybe sometimes till it's too late if you're having a caught off guard uh, me and uh, the other guy who uh, rode with us last time Moto Matt uh, I rode with him several times and behind him and uh, he points with his feet at the ground he might move off the line he's on on the curve and then uh, use that his toe to point like if there's gravel or leaves or um, you know a dead carcass from road killing the road or just whatever uh, that's really important if you ride with people like that uh, especially the leader or whoever you're behind wherever you're at in the group uh, that they're alert to the situation and road hazards because um, that's other than uh, people's own fault of doing something wrong I think that's probably one of the main contrib uh, contributing factors to motorcycle accidents is road debris especially uh, gravel and you know animals run out in the road and stuff like that uh, but you know Matt's a good uh, motor vlogger local motor vlogger himself and uh, I enjoyed uh, a couple times we rode together and the last time we rode together the three of us we all had a lot of fun but uh, couldn't make it out today and that's unfortunate but that's okay so uh, but uh, like I said he rides like that and he pays attention to road obstructions and stuff like that and I know his pace, he rides about like I do. I rode with him several times. So I'm comfortable with riding behind him and uh, 
relying on him to keep us all safe as far as the leader seeing stuff before we do and reacting or slowing down or whatever. Uh, there was one time where me and him were riding and I was leading and a car happened to be backing out of their driveway or pulling in at the last minute. And um, I went uh, to the left side of the lane and he went to my right and both of us uh, really had to chomp down the brakes uh, aggressively to keep from both of us having an accident. If I hadn't been paying attention, you know, that's that's a prime example. We'd have both been hurt and not vlogging right now, that's for sure, especially uh, T-boning a car at about 45 or 50 on a little back road. Um, but other than that, like I said, uh, find a group that matches your pace and your riding style. Uh, if you're more a casual rider, uh, make sure uh, they pay attention to stuff like that to point or, you know, because if you're using a center or something like that or any kind of communication device, they're probably that's not going to be their first reaction is to use that to uh, be like, hey, watch out for this because, you know, their natural reaction is just react. You know, that's not programmed in their brain to do it that way. So I think, you know, or maybe pointing with your hands either way, uh, just uh, know what that, per what that person does, whether it's hand signals or foot or whatever, and just uh, go from there, you know. Uh, that's the main thing, you know, we all love riding motorcycles and we all want to get home safe in one piece And that's uh, that's the main goal is to have fun without uh, getting injured. That's for sure. So um, And also to on the group uh, topic here uh, Make sure everybody kind of knows where each other's going even if you don't have um, uh, any way to communicate by a uh, communication device, make sure, be like, hey, we're going to go down here, make this way, you know, give them a pre-planned uh, riding uh, route so they kind of have a general idea. And the number one thing is all people in the group, whether they're front, middle, whatever, when they're making a turn, like from especially a main road like this, where the speed limit is close to interstate speeds, uh, make sure everybody uses uh, turn signals to indicate w when they're turning. And give plenty of time, not just like, oh, we're turning here. No, don't do that. Very bad idea. You know, you got you got several people in the group, whether it's two to ten, and everybody needs to have that cushion to react to where they're going. So I make sure I use mine plenty ahead of time before I even start hitting my brakes. And that way the person behind me or, you know, whatever, if there's a car behind me and I'm at the back of the group, that way that car knows, hey, uh, we're all turning. So, um, you just got to do everything you can in your power to, at the end of the day, like I said, to arrive back to your destination in one piece. That's the goal. So, that's about all I got for today's uh, moto vlog topic. I hope the group ride topic uh, helped people out and uh, gave them some advice that they may be able to use themselves. So, on that, we'll see you on the next one. Ride fun. I mean, ride uh, safe. Have fun. And we'll see you. And don't forget to like. Share, comment, and subscribe. See you.